So hey everyone watching, welcome back to my channel. So as you can tell by the title of the video, today we are going to be reviewing the Jackie Adam palette. Um, I don't even have a reason to why I haven't um, got the palette yet. Um, I don't know, I guess I've just been busy and really I haven't been wearing makeup that much so I don't know. But I've heard a lot of good things about this palette. I've heard it's very pigmented. Um, the colors are just very well put together. Everybody is saying that she did her thing on this palette. So today we are going to be seeing if those, you know, opinions stand true. This is the palette. Initially, I really, really, really like the holographic, really shiny, very in your face packaging. Um, then there's her, um, I think this is her logo I'm pretty sure um, but yeah this this palette is just so pretty to even look at and then you open it and it has a mirror you know the regular um, you know the regular Anastasia Beverly Hills setup and it has the colors now as far as these colors I really 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 like them yeah this is not my palette but somebody is letting me use it today for a review so that's what I'm doing. Um, just wanted to get that out the way. But anyways, the colors are really interesting as far as I can see. Like the colors are very, very, very interesting. I really like that there are lots of pinks and purples. Um, I definitely think that that's like really, that like almost screams Jackie Ina. Like she all, she's always doing a purple or pink look and which I love, I love purples and pinks. You know and then she also has some neutral colors in here that you can just use as crease shades and stuff and i noticed in a lot of other palettes they don't have that like it's just like okay but what am i supposed to do when you know i need a crease color i don't really know what i'm going to be doing today for this look i really honestly don't know i'm kind of just winging it to be honest um i'm kind of just winging it but yeah um let's just go ahead and actually get into using these colors so I'm gonna go ahead and get all my equipment I mean not my equipment my tools so that I can go ahead and jump into I this video got a little bit closer I'm sorry my hair keeps getting in my face um so yeah as you see we got a little bit closer so I got all of my brushes that I'm gonna be using and yeah let's just jump into it so I think I'm gonna take ginger which is this nice pretty color right here it's just like a nice true like Brown. Okay, so initially, what? initially, I can already tell that these shades blend so well. Like, usually, when I apply a shade, um, there'll be a certain spot where I first put my brush where it's just like it won't blend all the way out. But this blend it out like a dream like I don't know what these shades are made of I don't know if it's butter I don't know if it's like like right there you see that watch this wow it look it just literally blended away like it's gone like okay okay and the shades are very pigmented and I'm barely I'm like barely even tapping into it I will say there is a little bit of fallout I don't know if you guys can see that but there is a little bit of fallout where I was pressing it to ginger but I feel like a lot of ABH shadows there are usually a little bit of fallout but I really don't care about that so like this really blends out like a dream I'm gonna take Supreme, which is this really pink color. It's showing up a lot brighter on the camera. Oh my gosh. It's showing up a lot brighter on camera than it is in person, but it still is pretty bright. I'm gonna take that and I'm gonna apply that into my crease. I don't know if y'all just seen that, but if you can see that shade is very, very pigmented. Yeah, like so buttery. Like they blend out so well. Yes. 
Can y'all see that? <laughs> shades like this is blended out so freaking well like I think now I'm gonna go ahead and take uh, I think I'm gonna take big wig which is this nice beautiful vibrant purple and I don't see that a lot in palettes I don't think people like to play with purples a lot but me I like purples but I'm gonna really apply that to my crease and I literally only took a little bit and look how pigmented that is. And like, I don't know if you guys can see that, but I'm having a little bit of fallout um, I'm pretty sure I can fix that, like, but I'm not going to do it right now, but I'm pretty sure I can fix that, but just something to know, you know. Now, I think I'm ready for a highlight or like a shimmery shade, so what I'm going to do is, I want to, I want to spray something on here, but I literally do not have any more setting spray, like I literally ran out today while I was spraying my face, it was literally running out. Like, that was the last time I could have ever spray that spray. What? I think we're gonna have to improvise. So what I'm gonna do is, I'm gonna take this Revolution Baking Oil. Revolution Baking Oil is pretty dirty. Sorry. I'm just going to apply some onto my hand. Just a tiny bit, like I barely even dab some on there. My hands are ashy too, so. I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm sorry. And I'm going to kind of mix the brush on there a little bit just to get it kind of like moistened. And this product is like a dry oil, so it's not going to get the brush too wet. Maybe if I get really close. I don't know if you guys can see that, but these shades are shit popping. That's beautiful. That's beautiful. That's sponsored right there. It almost matches the palette, but it's like a little bit darker, but it's very holographic. So as you can tell, my eyeshadow is getting pretty much purple. So <laughs> I'm pretty sure we're gonna have to go with a purple shade. I think I wanna take sponsor just for the fun of it, but I was kind of looking at Shooking Finch too, but I feel like that's too basic, like just doing a purple look. So I think I'm gonna go with sponsor. But we still have another color to choose to use on our um, inner corner and our highlight. So we can still use up to three um, different shimmer shades. So we're gonna go ahead and get into that. But I'm gonna wipe this off my hands just so I don't get anything on this white shirt. <laughs> oh, and I don't know if y'all can see, but my nails are kind of yellow because I tried to do a turmeric mask and it just did not work out. Like I didn't like it. Um, I don't even know if it really affected my skin at all. Like I don't even know if it did anything for my skin, but. So we're gonna take that same brush um, it's still pretty moist, so I'm not gonna, you know, do anything to it. But usually I would use a. So I'm gonna try to use the brush first, and then I'm gonna go ahead and use my finger just to see what kind of payoff we get. So I'm gonna use the brush towards the front. Okay, we get lots of payoff. Let me scoot it a little bit closer. Oh, that is beautiful. That is beautiful. I'll try to use my finger. Good thing I have a broken nail. I can actually use my finger. Okay, I am in favor of using your finger. Um, I just feel like the finger packs it on so, so much well. But I feel like the brush is just as good. But fingers, they just do, they just do it for me. And I'm kind of doing like a messy halo eye. So, this is 
what we're working with. And I feel like this is just, this is like probably one of the prettiest, just nice, pretty, simple, um, straightforward makeup. I mean, not makeup, eyeshadow looks that I've done in a while. And it just, it looks so good. I think I'm gonna use Zam, my inner corner which is, I feel like it's almost the opposite of ginger, but just a shimmery shade. Like, <laughs> that's what it looks like to me. And I feel like, I don't know, I kind of feel like when people create palettes, they pay attention to the placement, like, of where the shadows are. I know I would. I'm pretty sure Jackie did. And I kind of like to, like, if I was creating a palette, I really would, like, pay attention to how I place the shades and I would kind of place like oh this is the opposite of this so I'm gonna place this over here and this right here like they're both in you know separate corners but you know they're both in the corners so it's kind of like I'm so sorry but my sister called but I did go ahead and add trust issues to like the middle and it just makes it look a lot more just I don't even know how to explain it like like now it's reflecting gold and holographic she just she spoiled us with this palette honestly but yeah So now that we are pretty much finished with the eyeshadow look, I'm gonna go ahead and apply lashes off camera, and then I'm just gonna come back with my final remarks and everything of that sort. Okay, so I am back. <coughs> Never mind. I guess I'm not. Back. So we have reached the end of this video. Um, overall, why do I keep clapping? Overall, I think this is a really, really good palette. I think it's a good palette for people who are starting to get into eyeshadow because it's really like a good mix of having fun with eyeshadow but still being able to do simple looks at the same time. Uh, I really like the quality of the eyeshadow. It's very easy to work with. So like if you're a beginner, I would definitely recommend this palette because it's very, very, very easy to work with. It blends out so well. It almost takes no effort to even, you know, use these palettes. I mean, use this palette. I said these palettes. <laughs> and yeah, it's just overall, it's a really good palette. And yeah, she 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 pretty much spoiled us because we don't even have to work that hard with this palette because it's just that good. And that is the end of this video. If you like this video, go ahead and give it a thumbs up. I definitely am now, you know, considering, well, not even consider, I, I probably will go ahead and get the palette just because I feel like it's a really nice addition to have in your collection. Even if you aren't a beginner, it's just a really good palette. Just one last look at the eyeshadow. But overall, I think it's a really good palette. If you guys enjoyed this video, don't forget to give it a thumbs up. Subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. Don't be watching and don't be subscribing. That's rude. Okay. No, I'm just playing because I do it too. But, <laughs> but yeah, um, I will see you guys in my next video.